Praise the name of the Lord, child of God. How are you doing? It's nice uh, to see you. It's nice to connect with you this very evening. I hope you are doing well. I hope everything is going well. I know that uh, this season has not been good. This season is tough. This we have never been this way before. We have never lived this kind of life before. This is new for all of us. This is terrible for all of us. But you know, with the very fact that you are still alive and you are still breathing, I know that God is with you and he's going to see you through. So I just thought just uh, that I would check on you this evening to see how you are doing and also to encourage you and uh, to assure you that we shall go through this and we shall come through on the uh, on the other side uh, safe and sound um, as you noticed in the, the quarantine or the lockdown is being is been extended and that is not good news for uh, most of us uh, of course all of us who would want to be free who would want to be out there but um heck, uh, the authorities have got to make sure that we are safe before we can be before the, 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 the lockdown can be lifted so just hang in there keep on being strong keep on believing god keep on uh, praying keep on uh, seeking his face keep on encouraging one another as you can on phones uh, texting one another calling one another where you can because we are in this together in the name above every name and if somebody has not called you or they haven't checked on you do not take umbrage you know you have no idea what they are going through as well so this is not the time to you know to um, To to, to 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 fill your black book with uh, with people who haven't called you, so and so did not text me. Da, 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 da. The question is, have you texted them as well, or have you called them? You never know what they are going through. So just um, you know, let's take it uh, one day at a time, and let's appreciate God for His love in the name above every other name. He is with you. You are not alone. I just thought that we would share together from. Uh, Uh, and the word of god in uh, psalm 118 is what I, where i want us to 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 set it together i just feel that god is speaking to us through uh, psalm 118 um the psalmist um says in uh, uh 118 verse 1 he's talking about the endurance the enduring love of the father the enduring goodness of god the father he is enduring his love is for everlasting hallelujah he says in verse 1 oh give thanks to the lord for his name is good for his steadfast is uh, endures forever it endures forever his steadfastness is perennial his goodness is perennial his goodness outlasts all seasons remember he was before everything as he everything came out of him is the one who spoke everything into existence the the word calls him the ancient of days things will pass seasons will pass but he will not pass in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living god isaiah what he says everything will pass the world will pass away but his word will remain and who is the one what is his word his word is himself he is the word he is the word he cannot Uh, he, 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 he cannot be uh, outlived by any situation because he is everlasting is from everlasting to everlasting he is the god of all power he is the god of all glory he is good in the morning he is good in the night he is good in the evening he is good all the time all the time god is good because his steadfastness endures forever yes even in this season he is still good hallelujah there's nothing that takes away his goodness my god somebody is saying what are you talking about yes in, in every situation he is good in every situation he is good he is good even now he will be god a good god even when this is gone because you know what it's going his steadfastness endures forever for you it endures forever his love endures forever for you and your family and he says in verse 2 and 3 and 4 let israel say let reuben say let your family say let your house say first and foremost it begins with a, with a, with an enemy at the country he says let israel say then he goes down in verse 3 he says let the house of aaron say family comes up every let every, every family declare that he is good that his steadfast love endures forever this love is steadfast it does not change it does not change <laughs> steadfast hallelujah he loves you he loves me yes even those who have gone to be with him he loves he loved them that's how his steadfast love is 
some of the things of God we cannot fathom, we cannot, we cannot explain. You see, if he's a God that I can explain, then he's not a God. That's why he is God. His wisdom is unsearchable. His knowledge is unsearchable. He's an unfathomable God. Hallelujah. His steadfastness, his steadfast, his steadfast love endures forever. Hallelujah. And how does he know? Because in verse 9 he says, in what he was in a place of distress. But in his distress he called upon the Lord. And the Lord did what? He heard him and helped him. That's what he says in verse, verse 6, uh, 5, not, not 9, rather 5. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. In this time of distress, what we need to do is to call on the Lord. Let's call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Call on him in the morning. Call on him in the evening. Call on him. Call on him. Call on him. Isaiah 62 says, those who call upon the Lord, those who, uh, you know, make remembrance the Lord should not give up. We cannot be silent. We just keep on calling until one day. So we cannot give him rest. He will answer in the name of every name. He says, in verse 7, the Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side as a helper. I want you to know that God is on your side. Even in this situation that you may not understand, you may not understand it, but God is on your side as your helper. He's here to help you. He's here to stand with you. He's here to lift you up. That's what he says. He says, I shall look, I shall look in triumph on those who hate me because he's your helper. He's come to help you. But one day after all this is said and done, you will stand and look back and testify and say, my God, Thank you for helping me. Thank you for being with me. In this season, we cannot do it on our own. There are things that you can do on your own, my friend, but not this one. In this one, we need God. That's why we need to call upon him. Bend your knees and call upon him. Gather your family at all times and call upon him. Let us pray. Let us call upon the Lord. And he who answered before, he answered the children of Israel when he heard their cry. He, he will hear our cry and he will send us a solution. The solution is not very far from us. The solution is not very far from you. Whatever situation it is, not just COVID-19. There are many other things that are, you know, that are at stake. God is coming through for you because he is your helper. He is on your side, child of God. Fear not. He says in verse 8, it is better to take refuge in the Lord mm -hmm. than to trust the man. In this season, let God be our refuge. Let him continually be our refuge. Do not tire. Do not get tired of, of hiding in him. Because as human beings, we want things that, can, you know, that, that make sense. Just hide in him. Men have failed. We cannot trust in man. I do not trust in any man in this season. Men have failed, politicians have failed, scientists have failed. How can I trust in them? Our solution is not in men. Our solution is in God. Our answer is in God. The answer to your issues, the answer to our problem as the, uh, as the world today is in God. And that's why we're going to keep calling upon him in this time of distress. And guess what? He will come through for us. Hallelujah. Amen. It is better to, to trust in the Lord, he says, than to trust in the princes. Princess, we know that the prince, one, one our prince here recently, you know, thank God that we prayed and God delivered him from COVID 19. COVID 19 does not fear any, any place, doesn't fear any person, there's no respect of men. Even the princes, even the president, our prime minister, thank God that we prayed and God healed him and delivered him and is now recuperating. You know, we cannot trust in them because we need God. They need God. They need God. They need God. We need God. So we're going to keep calling upon him until he comes through for us. David says in that same uh, psalm that he was surrounded. He felt surrounded by all nations. He felt surrounded by all things. As a matter of fact, he, he quits. He uses an example. He uses an analogy of, of bees that he was surrounded like, with bee, like by bees. A swarm of bees. You know, being surrounded by a swarm of bees, my friend. Just one sting of a bee can kill some people. Because some people who are allergic to 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 to, to, um, to bees or bee stings, you know, you can die. 
But what does he say? He says that, you know, they went out like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. The nations, he cut them off. This is a season where we are going to cut off all these things that have been chasing us. COVID-19, we cut it off in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. We cut it off. And it will be cut off. Whatever is bothering you, we cut it off right now in Jesus' awesome name. He says, I was pushed hard, pushed hard, so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. Some of us are being, are being pushed, we, are feeling, we, we feel it's, it's like we are being pushed off the cliff. Take heart, my child of God. Help is on the way. Just cry out to him, and he will come through for you. David was pushed to the limit. Some of us right now, I know that there are some families that have not been you know, used to being together in the same um, confined space for long periods. Right now, it's like you have been pushed the end of your tether. Your husband or your wife or your children, whatever, whatever it is, is pushing you to the limits. But help is on its way for you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Do not give up. Help is coming through for you. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, the Lord is my strength and my song. May the Lord become your strength and your song in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Human strength fails. We become tired. We become weary. Our willpower, you know, begins to, do, to dwindle. But may he strengthen every feeble knee. May he strengthen every doubting heart. May he strengthen every heart that is feeling overwhelmed right now. May the strength from above come into your living room right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, may songs of gladness be your portion now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He says, the right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord exalts. May the Lord, right hand of the Lord, you know when he speaks about his right hand, that is his arm of power, that is arm of authority. That's how he delivered the children of Israel, by his right hand. That hand that is not so shortened that it cannot save you. The hand that is not so shortened that it cannot heal you. His right hand is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. It's coming upon you right now. That pain, some of us are sick in the bodies right now. That right hand is touching you right now. It's just awesome name. Let his right hand touch you. Let him touch you right now. From the crown of your head, the sole of your feet, let him touch you. In Jesus' awesome, let him exalt you in the name above every name. Father God, touch and touch a body. Heal and heal a body right now. In Jesus' awesome name. Some of you, some of you may be watching this and you are in your hospital bed right now. May the power of God touch you like never before. In Jesus' awesome name. The power that rose him from the dead may touch you, may he touch you, may he lift you. May his right hand go valiantly in your body, in your spirit, in, Jesus, in your soul. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Then he declares in verse 17 and says, I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the good acts of the Lord. You are not going to die, my friend. You will not die before your time, my friend. No. The truth is that there are people who are ordained to die during this season. That Some of them will pray and God will hear and heal. But the truth, the sad truth is some of them, will, but not you Christ, I decree that you will live and not die to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Decree it. Decree it. Speak it upon your children. Speak it upon yourself. You are here to live. You will outlive this season in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Fear not. Fear not. Hallelujah. Extension of the lockdown is there, yes, but you are not alone. The Lord is with you. He is with you as your helper. If God is for you, who can be against you? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. You are not alone. Heaven is with you. His right hand is with you to deliver you. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I send the power of God into your living room, into your bedroom, whether you are in hospital bed, wherever you are. May the power that created the that power that rose Jesus Christ from the dead, that word in whom 
is life, that word in whom is light. May the life come through you right now. May his life flow through you right now. May his light shine through you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I decree and declare that you shall live and not die. Your family shall live and not die. You shall not lack in anything good as pertaining to godliness and to life. You will live a life of abundance. After this is said and done, God is exalting you to another level. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray a canopy over you, a canopy over your children, a canopy in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Why? Because he is goodness, his goodness, his steadfast love and you forever and is out to cover you is out to deliver you is out to leave you to, to heal you right now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god thank you jesus for it is done you will testify you will see his goodness in the land of the living hallelujah be strong keep on praying keep on um, thanking him keep on fellowshipping as a family keep on worshiping keep on reading his word wait upon him says those who wait upon the lord will renew their strength hallelujah help is on the way stay strong i love you and see you on sunday god bless you